Recycling of automotive plastic waste is a big challenge and opportunity for the automotive industry at the same time. That's why Audi and plastics manufacturer Lionel Bacell have set up an innovative process called the Plastic Loop. For the first time, Audi is using chemical recycling next to mechanical recycling to recover automotive plastic waste. The plastic granulate gained in this way is used for the production of the plastic cover of the Q8 e-tron seatbelt buckles. We want to use secondary material whenever it is technically possible, ecologically feasible and of course environmentally friendly. Recycling is not that easy because as you can imagine if something is mixed up it is not that easy to separate it again. Normally these parts would have ended in the energetic waste stream but Audi is researching ways of saving valuable primary material. We are recycling plastic which was already in the hands of our customers so it's called post-consumer. Chemical recycling is a good addition to the mechanical recycling. Together with its partner, Lion Dilbacell, Audi is developing efficient recycling methods that have to meet the highest quality demands. The plastic waste from used Audi cars is recovered from repair shops, sorted and shredded into smaller pieces. Through a chemical recycling process, we are then creating a new high-quality, long-lasting plastic material for automotive applications. Chemical recycling is a process where we heat the plastic and then a pyrolysis all will be created. And we can use it for the production of new polymer parts. So we can use it for high-quality demanding parts, like for example safety-relevant parts, and in very specific case for the Q8 e-tron seatbelt buckle. The Plastic Loop project is an integral part of Audi's circular economy strategy and a good example of sustainable cross-sector cooperation within the Audi supply chain.